Hello everyone. This is Ryan from Invensys Learning. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I am sure you must have heard about the PMP certification exam. But, do you know that the format is going to change in January next year? So, if you have been preparing for the PMP certification exam, the time is running out. Also, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Also, enroll in the PMP certification with Invensys Learning. Visit InvensysLearning.com for more details. In today's session, we will discuss the new PMP exam changes. So, let's take a look at the agenda for today. We will start with the dates and deadlines. Moving further, we will compare the new format with the old one. And finally, we will discuss the new exam changes for the PMP certification exam. I hope you are clear about the agenda. Now, without further ado, let's begin our session. Every three to five years, the Project Management Institute renews the examination format based on how the profession has evolved. The research is based on current trends and how the role and responsibilities of a project manager have changed over time. The last revision was done five years ago, in 2015. The current examination format is based on it. In June 2019, the content outline for the new exam format was published. And, it was supposed to be implemented on 1st of July 2020. But, the pandemic had a little surprise in the store for us. Due to these circumstances, the new format of the exam is postponed to 2nd of January 2021. And the last date to appear for the current examination is 31st of December 2020. So, let's discuss the current examination format. The current exam consists of 200 multiple choice questions that assess the candidates based on five domains, tasks, knowledge, and skills of project management processes. Each domain represents a different project life cycle stage. Starting from initiation, there is planning, executing, monitoring, and controlling. Followed by, closing in the end. Each domain has a predefined weightage in the examination. Now, let's discuss the major changes in the new exam format. There are three major changes that are observed in the new exam format. The first one is the number of domains, that have been reduced to three instead of five. After this, the number of tasks has also been reduced from 42 to 35. And the most important change in the format is that 50% of the questions will be based on predictive project management approaches. And, the other 50% would be based on agile or hybrid approaches. If we talk about the domains in the new format. The proposed domains include people, process, and business environments. The highest weightage is given to the second domain, and the other significant half goes to the first domain. Business environments merely get 8% of the weightage among the three domains. The people domain resonates with the leadership abilities that a project manager puts into achieving targets. And the tasks are also similar to team building, conflict resolution, etc. Process, on the other hand, takes 50% of the weightage. It consists of 17 tasks, and the tasks are similar to budget allocation, stakeholder management, etc. They are mainly focused on planning and execution to ensure project success. The business environment aligns perfectly with how an organization can benefit from the project's success. It consists of four tasks focusing on project compliance, organizational change, etc. Another thing that was introduced in the new examination format is the term enablers. Enablers are nothing but the examples associated with the tasks. It is a very simple term. So, if conflict resolution, let's say, is a task, the approach or the steps to complete the task will be the enablers. There are tasks in each of the domains, and the enablers associated with them. People have 14 tasks, the process domain has about 17 and the business environment has 4 tasks in the new exam format. With the onset of the new exam format, a lot of learners are confused if they should take the exam before 31st December or wait for the new format and appear for it on or after 2nd January. One must always remember, the new format of the exam could be tougher than the current one since the content is fairly new and most of the content is covered in two domains. And one must keep in mind, that the new format will require the candidate to be familiar with the agile or hybrid approaches as well. Since it will cover half the questions in the examination. This could pose a challenge for a lot of learners. The addition of new concepts might pose a challenge for the candidates. And, the lack of resources makes it even more difficult. So, if you're looking for a PMP certification, my suggestion would be to go for it this year. After of course, all the eligibility criteria have been met. For further certification preparation, you can enroll in Invensys's PMP certification program. 
Invensys Learning is a registered education provider, which can help you get the 35 PMI PDUs required for the certification exam. It offers interactive instructor-led certification training with a past success rate of 99%. And, it comes with highly qualified and certified trainers along with study guides by subject matter experts. Mock tests and industry-driven case studies make the learning aspect much more efficient. For more details, visit InvensysLearning.com. That's all for this session. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. For more updates on trending technologies subscribe to Invensys Learning YouTube channel. Also, if you have any queries, share them with us in the comments section.